So you don't understand curved brushes. Not a problem. Now ZBrush has a lot of awesome default curved brushes. Cylinders is a really cool one for sci-fi. If you pick army, you'll get things like chains, fire hoses, and even tank treads, and even things like bullet feeds, which looks awesome. But a really good one is the default IMM curve. You'll have a bunch of different types of curve objects to choose from. I recommend you just try them out just to see what's there. But for now, I am just gonna pick this one. When you left click drag, it will create a complete curve with the object ready to go. This is by far my favorite feature in ZBrush. Anytime while a curve is live, you can try out different shapes, different objects, and if you move your mouse to empty canvas, it'll turn red. From here, if you change your brush size and left click on the curve, you can even change the size of the objects. While your brush is red, you can left click to create new curves, and if your mouse is close to the end of the last curve, you'll see this red line. And if you left click from here, you'll be able to extend the curve where you left off. At any point, if you want this red extension line to be longer, just go under stroke and curve mod. Modifiers. If you hold alt and drag through the curve, you'll delete the curve. For the rest of the tutorial, just to make our lives a little easier, we're gonna open some space on the left and drag our brush and stroke menu over here. And if you wanna increase or decrease the angle of the curve bends, then you can adjust the max bend angle. When your mouse is close to the curve, it will turn blue. While it's blue, if you change size, it will determine the grab radius. So right now, if I left click on the curve, it'll only affect a small part. But if I change the size now, it grabs a much larger area. If you grab the beginning, you'll move the whole curve. If you grab at the end you'll be able to drag it like a snake and the curve will automatically hug the surface underneath it when the mouse is blue and you hold control and left click the curve you will twist the curve the larger your blue brush the more of the curve you will twist under stroke and curve if you turn on elastic you'll be able to drag it out in straight lines if you turn on liquid you'll extend the curve in a slightly more natural smooth way you'll be able to extend it by either dragging the end or tugging it through the middle and if you drag the end backwards into itself it will actually shrink the curve if you want to mess with the curve without moving the ends make sure that bend start bend end lock start and lock end are enabled and under stroke and curve functions every time you hit smooth curve it will soften the sharp turns of your curve so the next time you click on it it will update and you'll see smoother results you can also smooth the curve by holding down shift and tracing over it and if you ever just need a perfectly straight line just hit as line and you can automatically draw curves around poly groups or borders or creases of your object this makes adding ridges and outlines on things like clothes and armor super easy. For example, if I want to rim this glove with the curve design, I just turn on borders, frame mesh, pick my desired curve, left click, you're done. You can change the size, change the design. It's super easy to do this kind of stuff with curved brushes. If you ever want to get rid of a curve, just hit delete. If you ever want to control the shape of a curve under curve modifiers, enable size, click in this area and adjust the shape. The left and right side represent the beginning and ends of the curve. So if we draw right now, you'll notice that both sides of the curve start small and get fatter towards the middle because that is the exact shape that we have here. If we wanted only one side to start small and the other side to end big, if we make that adjustment here, that is exactly the shape that you would see in the final result. You can also add more points to make more complicated shapes if you want by left clicking different parts of the area. This is extremely useful when drawing ornamental armor details on your fantasy characters. Normally when you draw curves it will try and draw the new shapes on top of the surface, but if you want your curve to actually dig into the surface under brush, depth, drag this down a bit and the curve will now dig deeper into the surface. If you have a curve design that you want to wrap around an object, just left click, hold shift and drag into empty canvas until you get the angle that you want. This is super powerful when it comes to straps and things like chains. ZBrush has a great default brush called curve strap. If you hold click, left click, hold shift, drag. When you release, if you left click and drag again, a tiny amount of the brush will recognize and start to hug the surface. Then all you got to do is split by mass points, group by normals, geometry, crease, crease by polygroups, increase the bevel, and now when you subdivide, you'll get really nice clean smooth straps that you can start sculpting or adding details to later. And anything can be turned into a curve. If you have an awesome shape, press B, new, insert mesh, hit new, and then turn curve mode on. You can then draw that shape and control it like you would any other curve, no problem. Anyway, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.